Tech Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. And we have a very special guest. It's Lindsay. Yay. Woo. Party time. Excellent. It's your favorite Christmas present. It is. So today we're going to talk about all things Chrome. You're welcome. Yes. Here's Brooke. So first of all, you have to sign into Chrome. Why? Because it syncs your bookmarks across devices. So if you bookmark something at home, it'll show up at school, etc. Gives you access to extensions and apps, and it's just plain fabulous. You should do it. Themes, backgrounds, fun, great. It's All wonderful. You. Exactly. So how do you sign in? If you click on the little head, there's a turn on sync button. It opens this lovely login page. Put in your username and your password, and it will sign you into Chrome for time purposes. We have already done that. <gasps> Ta-da! I'm signed into my account. You can see my little face right there. So now that we're signed in, let's talk about some bookmarks. Okay, so you can actually bookmark sites that you go to so you can get to them quick and easy. Um, and it's super easy to bookmark it. All you do is go to the site. So we're using Nearpod because Nearpod is fabulous. <laughs> go to the site, and then if you look on the URL bar all the way to the right, you see the little star? Click it. That's it. You can rename it so it gives you the name. You can rename it there. You just say done, and that's it. Now it's added to your bookmarks bar or your list that you have, and you can actually rearrange it and all of that good stuff. But that's it. And now whenever you need to get to it, you click that little button, and you're good to go. Easy breezy. So Brooke just um, clicked and dragged it into her bookmark bar so she can get to it a little bit easier. Now, if you notice, Brooke has a lot of bookmarks. Stop judging you me. You press the arrow. There's some more down there. There's a lot. So if you want to get rid of some of that text and make those bookmarks a little easier to get, you click on one of your bookmarks and right-click, press Edit, and we're going to take out all of that text and press save. And now it turns your bookmark into just an icon for you. Again, you can click and drag that. And you can save more bookmarks in this bar for you. It's a little bit easier to get to. I like the picture. Helps me a little bit better. I don't need all those fancy words. So it works. It's great. Loving it. Another thing you can do is if you're working on something really important, you can actually save the tab that you're working on. We call it pin tab. So if you go to one of the tabs right now, we're on Nearpod, and you right click again and press pin tab. It moved it all the way to the left side for you. Now if you close your browser, it will not delete it for you. It will open it back up the next time that you open that browser until you decide that you don't want it there anymore. And then you will right click unpin tab and there it is and you can close it or move it there's also some other options when you do right click so you can kind of play with those if you want to love it so good stuff next thing we're going to show you is the instant timer one of my favorites so if i open up a new tab clicking the plus in the address bar i type in one minute timer and it automatically Check it out. The timer starts. There's a sound. I do nothing. It's ready to go. You can put any amount of time. It's quick and easy. You don't have to search for a timer. You don't have to bookmark a timer. Just open, type, enter, and you're good to go. Ta -da. Your students can do this, too. It's very easy for them if um, they need to set their own timer. Okay. Last thing we're going to talk about is we showed you how to sign in. Now we're going to show you how to sign out. Why do you sign out? Well, if it's a computer that you use all the time, it's okay to stay signed in. But if you're using other computers or if you have multiple people, you can sign out very easily so that your bookmarks aren't saved. Um, they don't have access to the passwords and stuff that you've saved in Chrome. And if they go to anything inappropriate, you're not the one that's flagged for it. Okay. So to sign out, do the same thing. Go to your person and then say exit and your name. And then you're now signed out. Just Ta -da! FYI, you can also click polka dots and say remove this person just as extra precaution especially like if you did this on a library computer perhaps definitely mm -hmm. keep yourself safe y'all yep and that was our edition of tech tip tuesday short sweet little bit of info and our very special guest Lindsay. so excited to have her here today we will see you back here not until january 8th 2019 for tech tip tuesday we hope you have a very excellent holiday season and a safe and happy new year. Bye. Bye y'all.